All right, huge shout out to Michael, a vlog fan. Thank you, Michael. He just stopped, he was doing his warm up, stopped, and told me that they changed the course because of too much snow up on top. Like, there's 20 feet of snow up there. It's just, what did I say? It's just like insane here in Colorado this year. So, I'm glad. Thank you, Michael, for letting me know the course has changed. to do it I had to call an audible some split-second decisions I was at the starting line but just I was like you know what I want to get out on the course and I knew I would miss him if I did if I stayed at the start so I'm gonna miss a start but I'm gonna get the good stuff here we go off road now oh boy don't crash okay <laughs> okay here we go I'm gonna get out here just a wee bit get them going okay Okay, I made position, both cameras are filming, I feel real good about the situation, real good. I'm still a little unclear about the course since they changed it due to the snow, but we will figure this out. So the runners are going to be coming by here probably in about two to three minutes. Good work. Woo! <laughs> runners are crushing it. There are a lot of runners. I had no idea. There must be a, I don't know, it seems like a thousand runners. That's what it seemed like when they ran by me. Maybe it's like 600, but it was a lot. And uh, they are all. Uh, they're all doing it at 10,000 feet above sea level.
And that was uh, second and third place in the men's. And I'll just wait for the women's here, the top three to come through, looking strong, all three of them. And shout out to Kara, go Buffs. Oh man, it's fun to see. It's fun to see a fellow buff out here crushing the trails and uh, an Olympian to boot. All right, here comes fourth place guy, looking strong. Great job. Day, what a day! The Leadville Marathon with Kara Goucher and company. How cool is it that Kara Goucher, the two, a 2008 and 2012 Olympian, an Olympian, is racing the Leadville Marathon? That was amazing. Kara, shout out, go Buffs! I ran for C Kara and Adam. If you ever watch this, I ran for Mark from 05 to 09, so a little after your time. So anyway. It was awesome just to cheer you on and to cheer all the ladies on. And a shout out real quick before I forget to, I don't know if I recorded this, uh, if the audio was working when I said this up in Leadville. Shout out to Josh, the winner of the men's race. I did not get his finish because my cam I couldn't get the camera out quick enough. I had to throw my bike down, get it out of the bag, and I missed you, Josh. So anyway, I apologize, but congrats, Josh, on winning the men's race. Very impressive time. And yes, the race does not mess around. You go into oxygen debt immediately. It's uphill straight from the starting line, like boom, right uphill. And oh, by the way, you're starting at 10,000 feet above sea level. So there's no time to catch your breath. You're in oxygen debt from the gun, and then you got to hold it for about three hours plus. So it's a serious race and um, very serious actually. And it connects to the question of the day. And one more point back to Kara. Adam and Kara, we're buffs. 
buffs stick together. If you uh, and you don't know me because I was a little after your time, but if you want any tips or tricks or thoughts on trail running, ultra running, if this video ends up in your lap, feel free to reach out to me. My email is down below. Buffs stick together. You know what I mean? Buffs stick together. All right. That's I know that's a little bit of a bold statement, but who knows? Maybe maybe you'll see this video somehow. And yes, if you enjoyed today's footage, if you want to see more races like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I would appreciate it if you grab the link, spread it around to all your running friends. Uh, I just feel like, oh my gosh, it was so cool to hear people out there on the course, as I mentioned already, I believe, that they were just like, hey, Seth, hey, SJD, hey, what's like, thanks for the YouTube videos and all this stuff. And it's like, that is what it's all about. The running YouTube community coming together in the real world. I just, oh, that is why, that's frankly a huge reason why I make these daily running vlogs. All right, keyword is altitude and the question of the day, who has raced at a mile above sea level? All right, so 5,280 feet above sea level. And uh, so what race did you do if you've raced a mile above sea level? How did it go? And here we go, who has raced two miles above sea level? So that would be all the racers today. You all were well above two miles above sea level. So how, if you have raced two miles and above, let us know what it was and how did it go for you? What was your experience like? Anyway, what a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Ah, oh, there's nothing like running. There's nothing, nothing like it, guys. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I, there's nothing like it. Ah, oh, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. See beauty, work hard.